Alright, we are live. Welcome back, everybody. Two nights in a row. What a special day. <laughs> Alright, so last time on Alan Wake Remastered, we stumbled through the forest and killed the shy chainsaw guy. And now we're going to try to help our manager buddy. What's his name? Barry. Barry. Barry, that's right. Sure. So let's get into this, shall we? Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with Barry? birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. All right, let's go save Barry. Barry. Oh, there's some crows. Saw a glowing ammo refill. I still Wait. had to reach Barry at the Ooh, camp, a but at least I was out of the woods. Hello. Well, can't go in. Ooh, a thermos. Oh, it's just a collectible. Alright, let's do this. Hello! Oh, and for those who are new, welcome. My name is Arcus. This here is Bub. Say hi, Bub. Hi. And we are playing through this game for the first time ever. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. Oh. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Sweet. Two people, welcome. Welcome to the game. Typically, we wander around lost in the woods. This time, I'm trying to get a car key. Ooh, spoilers. The no. FBI agent's command froze me in place. Ooh. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could oh. get in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I oh. leaped through a hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Is that a haiku? <laughs> Uh-oh. Going in the bathroom. You know? I had to find the key to the garage. There are no toilets in this bathroom. This is the worst bathroom. Oh, it's got hunting rifle ammo. Just what a person needs when they're not using the bathroom. I needed the garage key to get to the car. Got it. Let's look in this bathroom. And this one's got a potty. The garage key had to be somewhere nearby. Yes, sir. Somewhere. I saw it wanted me to do something. Ooh, there we go. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. Beep, you can bop. create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow true a logic that yourself. fits the story. A single flaw in the magic yourself. is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Okay. You can well, wow, like that. What else want to pop out of the stall? I don't think so. Ah, it's so pitch dark. 
Am I stuck? Okay. Let me out. Run! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh yeah. Who's ready to drive off a road? <laughs> yeah. We both know how good you are at driving. From rain. Let's hit this guy with a car. Boop. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, I can boost the lights. Oh. <laughs> boosh. Do I get up again, Chepsy? Mix of the wedding industry. Oh. Ooh, there's a light. satisfying. Hey, more people! Who wants to? Thank you. 
that. Where's my nut? Okay, so why did they have me come here? I think it's because it's the trailer. Well, I guess I got a new car. Uh, Coming for you, Barry! I love to be lectured by Barry. Got my ride. With my car. Oh shit. Add an element of danger. Is this what I'm supposed to be? Sure. <sighs> These driving mechanics are rough. Not heal your car. Oh, I'm sure they'll make me do that anyway. Barry! I don't think I got. What's the place for that guy with the dog? Oof. Are you not supposed to go this way? I don't know. Okay, we'll just get out here. I guess I could have drove. Lame. <laughs> That's a great sound. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Heck yeah. Alright, let's do the dang thing. Goodness gracious. Ah! already 
dodge. Ow, ow. Okay. Lumberjacks, man. Who knows? Ow. No. Oh, okay. They just want me to unload flare gun, huh? I was hoping that I could avoid that as much as possible. Pick this up. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Maybe we can find some batteries up here. Nothing. I feel like we came down this way initially. That or it all looks the same. I wonder if you're going to look up there. Yes, buried surrounded by a bunch of bloodthirsty people. Boosh! Will you please not? Run! Run! Run, you stupid rider! There it is. <laughs> Try it. This is where I watched the creepy show last night. What was that? Very better be nicer to you, considering that we're going. Ah! Jeez. Oh wow! Is that? If that wasn't. I don't know what it is. <laughs> So they are following me. Fun. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of battery. We just need to go. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Ooh. Oh, they're gonna come for me, aren't they? Yeah. Stupid birds. Ooh, yes please. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Josh gave his hilarious Save Barry from the birds. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Barry, ha! Save Barry from the birds. That's a weird sound. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely sound. Ha ha, Barry! Yes, please. Batteries. Yes, please. Alright, so how do I defend Barry from the birds? So far, they're not really doing anything. I'm not really content for Barry. This is normal. These birds are weird. I'm out of batteries. Bobby Weed, Bobby Weed. That doesn't help me. Psychotic episode, man. Yeah. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. Hello? He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man um, wanted a manuscript. I like I had to try to find one to get Alice back. Birds are pretty. Uh. Paper. Uh, I don't like paper. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Here's an idea. Copy the ones you have. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pager. 
messages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there Rose in less than so good. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Old Dear Diner. Good girl. Crazy old lady. Beep boop boop be doop beep boo. So is that the end of this episode? She get her hands on the manuscript anyway. I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to see uh, him. Hurry okay, quick. I'll be right I see him. him. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Hey, We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Great, nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Remember? Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the, the radio you were busy. Well, shoot I'll you. show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Hey. Always pays her rent on time. As I yeah, was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local yeah, newspapers. Yeah, keep talking, times. Barry. This place is crazy. Is Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends mm, come yeah. true. Okay. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake. Mm -hmm. Are you, you don't still say. following Randolph? Yeah. No. Okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy Looking for weapons. Thomas Zink. Now, somebody ought to talk about the big famous <laughs> Okay. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Look, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's Torgo! <laughs> Your bag, sir. Torgo, can you take him to my car, please? Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's genius, buddy. <laughs> hey, there's Barry. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Yeah, well, I need weapons. I don't trust Rosa. I feel like I need a gun. Just Open follow this. me. It's not far. No. Don't want to. A gun or something. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Yeah, I gotcha. Do, 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 do. This way, sir. The way he walks. The master is waiting for you. I don't even think I have a flashlight, do I? Got nothing. It's a nice sound effect. I 
the way, Barry. Oh, give me a break, mister. Can we just get a move on? I don't think you understand. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. Yeah, that's normal. It would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crash any of the trailers. Explain that to me. He seems fine with it. That's black goo from the shadow people. I had a feeling one of these would be around here oh, somewhere. Oh, that boat has black stuff on it. It's definitely bad. Black goo from the shadow people. Pergo, move it. Where does Rose live? In a shack at the back of the lot? That's not scary at all. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The Scratch and Hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, I... I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady. Bag lady? Anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Stupid rider. Well, you get for being a jerk to everybody. Bah. Not being able to run fast when you would actually punish yourself. When you actually punish yourself. And Barry thinks. Barry, punish yourself. And Barry thinks that you're wrong in your mind. Did you see that? Punish look? yourself. Did you see that look he gave you? Did he? He was like this. Hey, Maybe Barry, like want to get hit in the face with the tire swing? No. All right. Come on, look, look at it. His face was like completely well, out of like a. This here's look, Rose's he trailer. You, that look. you mind me asking what like, you want? If you look at Barry right now, we're just here to Barry. talk to her. He's pal. giving you that look. What the? Yeah, why is everyone so mean? Just here to talk to her, pal. Oh my gosh, Barry. You could have said she's a fan. Coming to see a fan. You could have said roses. Anything I but be a jerk about it, Barry. You could also have warned us that Rose is a hypocratic maniac that is being controlled by a person of evil. That's not how these games work. Welcome to. to. Nobody opens oh dear. the door. Nobody Mr. Wake. Looks like that. I'm. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Rose, you have my manuscript? That sounds nice. Oh. I am not oh, a monster. Yes. yes. Please, come in. Still not a monster. Hey, this is really good. Rose, I sure hope you like yes. poison, I mean coffee. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. Beep, boop, I'm here to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey, Al. Oh, what's... Oh, oh, come on. Everyone's had this coming. Surprise, what? Alan. Did Barry just... Oh, no. Is it poison? What? I'm not a robot. I promise. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. 
turn the light on. That's cool. Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises I am a me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Okay. Rose took a day oh, look. for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. Yeah, All I, I could that. do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Doop -a -doop -boo -boo. Take your thermos. That's not very nice to do to Barry, Alex. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. So you're just gonna leave Barry? Alright. Deserve him one more. Wait, are you in reality? So handsome. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First beef that was free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? I just feel bad for Barry. She should lay him on a bed or something. Come back soon. Okay, so I have no weapons. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. I know as much as you do, my friend. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Hello? Hello? Okay, so I have nothing. No weapons. No flashlight. Giant boat in the way. Oh, good radio. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you. The weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> Is it just me? You are the worst radio no host person. ever. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't yeah. been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I got a... Yeah, this is not going anywhere good. I don't know why his wife thought it was a good idea to come here on vacation. But, yeah, this is... Oh, look. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do you hear that? Oh, Lord. you're gonna get it now. 
what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get I see you at me. You're under arrest. You move a muscle all alone right in your goddamn face. Stay Whoa. Right Yeesh. So they just start shooting at me? Oh no. What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Well, Barry's gonna be sleeping at us oh, for a while. But there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wayne. Come on. Oh, let's get away. Ooh. Oh, this is a nice twist. Running in the forest. Been shot by the police. The kidnapper. Hey, Pretty much. Where did you see that? What tips? Oh, come on, Alan, stop smoking. There. There he goes. Not this way. Ah! Worst. You definitely need to take up jogging or something. Have I escaped the police? Can't even run. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had back to in the end. I wonder if it's original flavor. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. And we're running, and we're running, and we're running, and we're running some more. Oh, please don't kill me. Shadow people. Oh. Lord, okay, run. Phew. We made it to a light spot. Okay. I think that's what we'll call it for the night. We made a pretty good headway on this one. Alright, so for Marcus and Bob, we say good night. Good night.